All right, fantastic. Uh, it is a beautiful sunny day out here in Hanoi, as you can tell. I'm on my rooftop uh, watching the sunrise, or <laughs> sunrise, sunset. It's about dusk. Uh, that'll be happening in an hour or so. As you can see, I've been playing the, uh, I've just been practicing some music, but uh, I wanted to make a quick video because yesterday's video, which I wasn't even sure that I had uploaded entirely, got a lot of views, and um, I'm really not sure what people thought, but it made me realize that it's very important for me to keep producing this content. So um, anyway, today, as sort of my homework for this video, I watched um, Marianne Williamson's Town Hall as uh, someone had pointed out to me in the content, in the comments, and there's been a lot of interest in Marian Williamson in this channel, which I think is appropriate because I've talked about A Course in Miracles before and I have a lot to say about it, having done the entire 365-day uh, meditation program. And uh, in the town hall, it was great because that exactly came up, and they talked about A Course in Miracles, and it's, it's amazing how this um, particular spiritual text has become so mainstream in the same way that the Book of Mormon has, or uh, many, uh, or the New World Translation, the Jehovah's Witness Bible. There have been, there's, it's just sort of mainstream now. And I think um, having her as a candidate, having her as possibly president, is amazing because uh, it's in the same way that having any um, religious minority. I I, I think of Tulsi Gabbard. You know, I didn't realize until I. Sp until I watched her town hall, I didn't realize that she was a uh, practicing devout Hindu. And so it was really just amazing to see that and to see uh, uh, Ms. Williamson identifies as a Jew, I guess, ethnically a Jew. But, and she also talks about, and this is sort of to rebut one of the comments that I had in one of my videos, is that, um, she talks about being a Jew, she was a bit turned off by the Christian terminology. And yet she, she sees it as a universal um, idea. Which I've always found kind of disturbing. Um, I think uh, there is a difference between Jesus saying there is only one way, <laughs> and Lao Tzu saying the way that you can talk about isn't really the way. You know, and Buddha saying there are 84,000 ways. But if you're using and crossing and mixing all that terminology, I think it deserves a little bit of scrutiny. Um, that said, I mean, I, I'm going to set all that apart, even though I wanted to point out that it does clearly influence both her social and professional and political thing, or everything. Like, all of her thinking is influenced by that book. But uh, irregardless, <laughs> it's not a real word. Regardless, she uh, gave some pretty good ideas, I guess, and she talked about one amazing uh, jab she made for reparations, which I had said in my last video was a stupid idea. She said, well, uh, the United States government gave $20,000 to all of the former uh, interns in Japanese camps, right, in the, in the Japanese internment camps. They gave $20,000 to each of those that they released, and I think, okay, well, that's not so bad. I mean, uh, and also, it's just, it's petty, it's beans. It's beans, totally. When you think about how much we spent on those wars. As another aside, okay, I was going to make a diff different video, but we're just a few minutes in, and I'm, I'm close to being done <laughs> with what I have to say today. But uh, Donald Trump, I guess, he threw that big parade, and he had all those really cool Abrams tanks, and everything and it was flashy and fun and people were saying oh how, how can you politicize uh, <laughs> uh, Independence Day how do you politicize Independence Day well isn't that the, the whole the whole point I mean isn't it a political holiday essentially how do you politicize it no credit they talk about how much he spent to have that parade okay it kind of reminds me of how they complain about him spending a thousand dollars on liquor, and uh, shortly before that, there was uh, Tony Morris, the board member of Jehovah's Witnesses, caught on camera buying about a thousand dollars worth of McAllen's top shelf scotch. <laughs> so, if he can get away with it, I think 
the uh, press can get away with it. But anyway, when I think about all the tanks and everything, I think, well, okay, this would have been how much if we had uh, reacted wrong after our drone was shot down. That was a total shit test. And Trump passed it because I think a Uyghur president or a president with other interests would see that as a signal to invade and uh, we'd get caught in the same awful quagmires that we had before. And that's why looking at Marianne Williamson and looking at Donald Trump, I'd say Donald Trump is actually the more loving candidate because of his foreign policy. I believe so. Over and out.